as we welcome in Kevin Na, live on FaceTime from Las Vegas. Kevin, how does that winning feeling feel? It feels great, Lauren. <laughs> I bet it does. The smile says everything. But let's let's take it back even before that. Friday evening after Beth Page Black to that first round at Colonial. What were the biggest stepping stones related to confidence that led you to owning the week all the way to the W at Colonial? Well, I was playing pretty well leading into the PGA, and um, it's Beth Page when they told me we were playing Beth Page, and I was uh, uh, a bit worried because, you know, I haven't had a great record at Beth Page, and that uh, golf course doesn't really suit my game. And after I missed the cut on Friday um, by one, third time that we played there, um, I played a tournament there and missed cut by all three times by one shot. I said, you know what, this place isn't for me. Um, and I said, if this, me taking the weekend off, um, gets me rested for a golf course I have a chance to win at, that's just fine. And uh, let's get it together and contend next week. And I did that. Yeah, you did. And you delivered. And it wasn't just about winning on the PGA Tour again, getting the check, all of the other perks. There was a pretty sweet uh, perk that uh, came on four wheels in that 1973 Dodge Challenger fully refurbished. And you gave that to your caddy, Kenny. So what did that feel like being able to hand that over to him? Uh, so on the practice round, the, the car's parked right by the tent hole, and um, on the practice round, we were playing the back nine Tuesday, and he looked at me and he goes, um, see that car right there? They're giving that car away to the winner this week. Because I know, we've talked, you know, he's mentioned it a few months before because all the, the whole tour's known about it. And he says, you win this week, I want that car. Can you give that car to me? I said, uh, what? Because <laughs> you want the car? He says, yeah. He goes, come on, Kev. He says, you win, I want the car. I said, that's fine, that's fine, I win, you can have the car. So, man of my words, it's, it's coming down the last hole, and I, I knew that car was right there, and, I, and after I made the putt, um, I wanted to make sure that he knew that he was getting the car. You got to rev the engine a little bit, though. How did it feel? Yes. Oh, it felt great. It felt <laughs> like it had a lot of power. Um, I'm sure he'll enjoy it. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't get too many tickets, speeding tickets. Well, something we've enjoyed watching from you this, all, this whole season, but really, it started a ways back. And part of it was you and Tiger Woods setting golf Twitter mm -hmm. ablaze when you guys were walking in those putts on the 17th hole at the Players, TPC Sawgrass, earlier this year. You've been known to do this for quite some time, but when did it really start? Because this is becoming a movement. Well, it's, it started, you know, many, many years back. Um, I mean, I, I, I put uh, a video of um, 2012 U.S. Open at Olympic Club me walking a putt in and I got there way before I got to the hole. So it's been, it's been many, many years. Um, some guys, a lot of guys that have played with me know about it. Here's Justin Bieber doing it. Um, <laughs> but guys, you got to make sure that the ball goes in the hole first and then pick it up uh, so you don't get penalized. Uh, you know, I've been putting really good this year, um, um, especially a couple of weeks ago. Uh, starting a few tournaments back, actually, I, my putter started coming around. Um, put a new uh, Odyssey two-lawn putter in, and that's been working great. And you know what? you got to be confident to walk those putts in, and uh, I've been feeling confident with that uh, two-lawn putter. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get it down, but it just doesn't look the same when the rest of us do it compared to you. <laughs> um, going back to the PGA Championship, you were shown on the range alongside with Tiger Woods chasing win number 82, and you tweeted a cool screen grab of it saying, you're chasing three. <laughs> now you've done it, Kevin. Now you've reached that number. So put it into perspective just how impressive Tiger's accomplishments are from your mind. I uh, look, I mean, everybody has different standards, but I, I always feel like, you know, if you have five wins on tour, that's a heck of a career. And that's really hard to do. And like I've been playing for on tour for 16 years and and I've got three. Right. And I've, I'm, you know, I've, I've been pretty consistent, been right there. But to get 81 <laughs> it's it's just a whole different world, um, and it's a it's a whole different world from the you know the, even the former world number ones. Um, so what he's doing is just incredible, and we get to witness history. And um, like I said, I hope he gets his 82 before I get my four. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. We're gonna watch what you do for the rest of this season, Kevin. Na live on Morning Drive. Your winner of the Charles Schwab Challenge. Great job once again, Kevin. Thanks.